Good day everyone, it's Joshua Sariagas here and it's been a while. So for today's vlog, I think this will be my first time doing this but yeah, we will be doing a reaction video and a mini movie review. Recently, our professor on broadcast and interactive newsroom management tasked us to watch a 1999 film entitled Office Space. Actually, that is not my first time watching this because I already watched it with my cousins uh, way back 2010 or 2011. Yes, I'm not sure. I barely understand the context and content at that time because I was a little. So I am planning to rewatch it again and see what we can get and what we can learn about this film. So without much ado, let's get started. totally speechless it is a shame because i laughed out so loud way back then with my cousins the first time we watched it and i do not even know what is the meaning of some points out there some context out there yeah because i'm just a kid what do you expect i did not even realize that though this film is a comedy and genre this is very serious it has a lot of implication at the normal days at the workplace it shows different points of views of the workers and or employees out there dealing with their daily endeavors such as their bosses their tasks and the internal pressures they have so here's my take and reflection about this film first is it is good to be surrounded with nice office mates as your support system. I am pretty sure that Peter was very lucky to have Michael Bolton and Samir Naina Najad as his office mates and friends. We know that in every work, whether white collar job or blue collar job, it is very exhausting. It is good to have at least a support system to vent out your frustrations at work. Not to talk behind their backs or whatever you call it. It is just nice to have someone who can understand your problems at the same time. Second, energizing work environment will allow people to do their best job. Speaking from my own experiences, many of my former schoolmates told me that my term as the student council president way back then is the most flawless so far. Well, thanks for that. But of course, I would like to share the credits. I have a good relationship with my co-officers, my juniors, my fellow schoolmates, and my bosses, the teachers, the Agustinian Recollect sisters, and the principal herself. They are very supportive and they trusted me in almost everything we can do for the sake of the student body. Well, in the film, on the contrary, Peter is exhausted because all the pressure was put onto him, most especially by Lomberg, not until he was supervised by Bob and Bob, where he was spoiled to do everything he wanted to just to make himself comfortable at work. Third, office politics is toxic and unhealthy. We cannot escape that there is a superiority in workplace. Some workers place office politics to gain an unfair advantage over a colleague by currying favor with a supervisor at the expense of the co-worker. This may occur by criticizing that co-worker and for taking the credits of their work. You see how Lombards exploit Peter and the rest of the workers out there. There can be a real fear of having to take sides to resolve these issues or support a fellow worker. That is why Peter was also in a dilemma of receiving a promotion at the expense of his friend Samir and Michael's termination. Well, you can see that in the film. Fourth, it is exhausting if our personal life, identity, and space was being regulated by our boss. There is always a need to separate our personal from our professional life. It doesn't mean that you are their employees will give them rights to overtake your personal life and time away from you. Take a look at Peter's lover, Joanna. Joanna's situation where she was forced to wear extra flares even if it is not her style. Following a company's image is good. It is actually a nice thing to do. But forcing your employees to do the things against their will? I think it's a no-no. Lastly, workers who feel alienated at work would come to a point where they would want to destroy the company. And we cannot blame them, of course. Look at the timid Milton. He was deprived of his cherished possession. Lomberg took his precious stapler and transferred him to a basement storage closet because he just felt Milton was not useful to the company anymore. They came to that point because they felt alienated at work. Well, thanks to Lomberg. 
Of course, we shouldn't do that. All in all, I will give this film a 10 out of 10. The story itself was very good. Thanks to this film for giving me warning about the possible setup that I might encounter as soon as I get to work. And that's it for today's vlog. Be sure to like, share your thoughts, subscribe me on my YouTube channel, and click the notification bell so you will be notified on my next upload. Once again, this is Joshua Sariego. See you on my next video. Bye!